Hi, boys and girls. Thanks again for joining me here this morning. I'm glad to be with you. Thank you also for those of you who told me about the cool insect things that you found when you did your insect hunt this past week. I know some of you found praying mantis egg sacs, which is pretty cool. And some of you have butterfly larvae at your house. And I'm told that one of them is called Angela. So thank you for that. That's, that's great. I hope that that butterfly turns, or that caterpillar turns into a beautiful butterfly. Um, so I'm glad that you had fun doing that. And it's not too late. If you have more things that you want to send to me, I would love to know about them. So feel free to do that. You know, something else we've been enjoying doing at our house, and I'm sure you have too, and that is we have been reading a lot of books and telling a lot of stories. Have you been doing that? Do you have a favorite? Well... Today, the story that we're going to talk about from the Bible is maybe one of my most favorite little Bible stories, because we know that the Bible is full of amazing stories. There's lots of exciting adventure stories in the Bible. There's lots of happy stories in the Bible. There's a lot of sad stories in the Bible, too. But there's not too many funny stories in the Bible. But guess what? Today's story is kind of funny. When I read it to Haley and Maddie, they both laughed because they could see that it was funny. So I hope that you enjoy the story today. You see, what's happening? We are in the city of Jerusalem. And of course, the apostles have the strength of God. And they're speaking boldly and preaching. And so many people are hearing about Jesus and they're believing in Jesus and they're joining that group. And that group is growing. That baby church is growing bigger and bigger and it's getting stronger and stronger, which of course we know is God's plan. But the Sadducees and the leaders, they're not happy about this. In fact, in the book of Acts, it tells us that they're feeling jealous They don't like that so many people are listening to the apostles. They don't like the message that the apostles are preaching about the Lord Jesus. And they feel jealous and angry. And so they arrest the apostles and they put them in jail. And they lock the door and they put guards on the outside of that door. Nobody is coming in and nobody's getting out. Mm, Except an angel. God sends an angel that night, and the angel goes into the prison and gives the apostles a message and says, I'm getting you out of here, and then I want you to go back to the temple where you've been preaching, and I want you to keep preaching and telling the people about Jesus. So the angel lets the apostles out, and they do exactly what God wants them to do, and the next morning they go back to the temple, and they start preaching boldly about the Lord Jesus. But... The Sadducees don't know that this has happened. And so they get together for their very important meeting about what to do with the apostles, and they send someone to the jail to go and bring them here. But when the person comes back from the jail, he says, well, the door was locked and the guards were still there, but when we opened the door, they were gone. What? Where did they go? And the Bible tells us that they were very puzzled and they wondered at what could have happened. Well, in the very next verse, we find out that a messenger comes rushing into that meeting and says, the people that you arrested, guess what? They're in the temple and they're preaching again. And that's where we leave off our story for today. I really like that story because I think now that we live so many years later, we can look back and we know that God was working. We know that God wanted his baby church to get strong. The Sadducees didn't know what was going on at that point, but we do know. And so we look back and think, oh, that's kind of funny. But you know what? It's part of the book of Acts. We can see this. It's the beginning. It's going to go through the whole book of Acts where we see that if God wants something done, well, no jail is going to keep it from happening. It doesn't matter what anybody does to the apostles. If God wants his word to be preached, and he does, nothing can stop it. People will hear about Jesus. People will believe in Jesus. And God's word will go out. I find that really encouraging. Sometimes it seems discouraging. Even now when we can't meet together, it's a little bit discouraging. How can we have our Sunday school classes? How can people hear about Jesus? 
Well, a little thing like the coronavirus is not going to stop God. The jail didn't stop God. The angel let those apostles out. So I hope that you're encouraged. I hope you enjoy that story. Maybe you even want to read it for yourself in the book of Acts as one of the things that you read this week. But I hope that you're encouraged by that, that God will do what he's going to do, and it will all be accomplished according to his perfect will for your life and for my life, for our church, for the people of the world. God loves us all so much. Let's talk to him right now. Heavenly Father, thank you for the wonderful way that you work the way that you work that is beyond our understanding. Thank you for how powerful you are. Thank you that you love us all so much that you want us all to come to a saving knowledge of who Jesus is. I pray that you would give us ears to hear and hearts to understand about the love of God. I pray for the children and for their families this week. I pray, Lord, that you would work in a mighty way in our homes, that you would accomplish what you want to accomplish in our lives, for all for your honor and glory. In the name of Jesus, amen. All right, boys and girls, have a great week, and I will talk to you next week. Bye for now.